Well, football season is in full swing and a big concern for parents, players, coaches, obviously concussion. We are here with Dr. Jay Jagannathan. He's a board certified neurosurgeon um, talking about what a big concern. This is a concern. I yeah. mean, it's something everybody needs to worry about. Yeah. Um, you know, with uh Advances in imaging technology and advances in our able to diagnose uh, even minor changes in terms of uh, psychiatric conditions, psychological conditions. We're starting to find out more and more that uh, some patients who, you know, we told just to go back to play really had more serious uh, side effects of concussions. And thus, I think it's really important to identify the symptoms and uh, I I get appropriate treatment if it's needed. Okay, so what should coaches and, and parents be looking out for? So uh, concussion just just as a general background is, is a result of any kind of low velocity or low speed injury to the brain. And because the brain is, is confined to the skull, even with low speeds, when the brain moves back and forth, it can cause uh, uh, damage by hitting against the sides of the skull and cause what's called shearing, which is damage to the nerves to travel down. And that can oftentimes be extremely uh, subclinical, meaning that it may not obviously come up as major symptoms as you might see with a car accident or something else. So a lot of times uh, what, what you look for is uh, confusion, uh, persistent headaches, uh, problems, uh, you know, being in, in front of lights, uh, problems with concentration, problems with memories. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, things like loss of consciousness is a major red flag, and uh, and that should be treated as a as a major type of head injury or concussion uh, uh, if, if that occurs. Yeah. So get get the kid to the hospital. I mean, is that what you want to do? Yeah. There's there are different protocols in terms of managing concussions, and it really can vary from uh, from the level of. Uh, uh, that that's, that the uh, athlete is playing in. You know, in, in high school uh, sports, most school districts have a, have a concussion protocol where patients uh, are oftentimes required to uh, uh, to stand to to be held out even if there's minor symptoms of concussion. Um, for sure, if there's a loss of consciousness, that almost always requires a um, transfer to the hospital and get a, getting appropriate imaging such as CT because there can be uh, other side effects such as brain bleeds and things like that that can happen with major trauma as well. Yeah, so best to play it safe. Best way to say. Yeah. And I think the other part is, uh, you know, uh, instructing uh, athletes, particularly football players, but but all athletes in terms of safe technique, things like uh, tackling with the head down is a risk factor, helmet to helmet hits, which is getting a lot of uh, coverage in the news right now is another major risk factor. And I think safe techniques reduces the risk of concussion. It also reduces the, uh, the long-term uh, uh, burden of the concussions on patients, and it enables uh, 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 students to be able to play longer, which is what everyone wants at the end of the day. All right, absolutely. Very good advice. Thank you so much, Dr. J. Thank you. If you want more information about concussions, about the protocols, and about Jagannathan Neurosurgery, you can head to our website, 9in10news.com. This Health in Focus is a paid segment by Jagannathan Neurosurgery.